Um, I think tomorrow represents the first day we get to the field truly as a team, and um, we're excited about that. The, the personality, I would start with the beginning, I would say the personality of this team um, has been incredible this fall. I don't think it's any secret. If you go back and you look at 2009, 10, and 11, uh, we ran through a string of three straight conference championship regional bids, top 20, um, and we haven't been back there. And so this year is about restoring um, winning championship, championships again. There's different reasons as to why there's been a break or in it. There's also an appreciation of how challenging it is to win championships. Uh, we've had successful teams in that gap. We've had successful players that have gone out and represented themselves in professional baseball. We've had a lot of great things happen during that gap. But we challenged ourselves to restore the idea of winning championships here again and being a top 20 program um, again. Um, hopefully this, this fall was successful in, in moving forward in that. Tomorrow will represent another opportunity practice-wise. But as a team, we'll have an opportunity to move forward collectively tomorrow, um, full blast with, with baseball here. I told the guys when they got back, the reality is it, it's baseball season. And it is. Um, and we're certainly excited about it. This personality bunch has been incredible. Their work habits have been uh, unbelievable. I'll assure you, we have put more in front of this group physically and emotionally to make them better than any group we've had in a while. I think it takes tremendous people to turn something back around to win championships again. I don't think that you know complacency, comfortable, and things like that belong um, when you're trying to, to, to do what we're doing, chase championships again. Um, and so we need, courageous isn't, I don't know if that's the right word, but we need uh, people to, to, to play better than they've ever played. We need their efforts to be better than it's ever been. We need our team collectively to play better than it's ever been to get it turned around to win championships again. And it starts with our staff, and it certainly starts with me. Um, and we've done that. We've put a lot in front of these guys, and they have responded incredibly to the work, the emotion part of it. Um, three weeks from today, I guess, we'll get to see the execution part of it against a different colored jersey and the challenge of having a competitive moment in front of them and moving towards winning championships just beyond practice. Um, there's a lot of guys, there's three people here today representing the players, Lucas Humpel, Tanner Hill, Granger Stuttered, and you'll get a chance to visit with them. I would say, you know, there, there, there are other pieces of the puzzle for us player-wise that are going to be important. We have seven seniors. Um, in the middle of the night when I wake up often enough, I wake up, uh, you, 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 let me tell you what, you lose a foot and a half of your colon, you get up there once in a while in the middle of the night, but you wake up and I think about this magnificent seven as I refer to them in my head because it makes me feel better about waking up. And, and they have the most experience of anybody on our baseball team. We have seven seniors, all of which have qualified themselves ability-wise. That professional baseball has peaked in at them. They have been successful at this level before, but collectively they have to, 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 to do it together over a lengthy period of time, a whole season. We've challenged them with, with what that means. So far today, they've responded. Hopefully tomorrow they do the same thing. But so far today, they've done that. Um, Granger and himself being a junior, um, you know, there, there's something to be said um, for his athletic skills and his abilities. But there's also, I gotta be honest with you, something to be said for somebody who gets game winning hits. It's not easy. I don't know how many it is, it's, it's multiple. Uh, when you end games with a swing of a bat, there's something to that emotion to walk into that moment and, and to be able to execute what you do and then have the other team not interfere with it and it all fall out the way it's supposed to. Um, I think it means something about him emotionally. Lucas Humpel is a senior pitcher here. Lucas has been one of those guys for us before where I've, we, he's gotten the baseball against quality teams and pitched at a really, really high level. Professional baseball drafted him last year. He chose to come back um, and, and to be a part of this, uh, to prove that he feels like he's a better baseball player, to get closer academically to his, his degree, also his engineering degree. And so all those things came into play. Tanner Hill, and I've said this before, Tanner 
might be as big as he is in stature, and you'll see him maybe one of the more athletic kids I've ever coached. Um, and certainly, you know, people refer all the time, ask, everybody wants to compare things to Paul Goldschmidt, which is a great thing to, to be compared to. Um, but I'll promise you, in, in a, in a athletic event, he and Tanner are very similar in, in athleticism um, and also raw power at times. And so uh, the latter part of the year, Tanner was incredibly successful for us. Corey Geisler is another senior who's not here today. Corey's a two-way guy. We're going to move him to the mound on, and, and, and look at the idea of starting Corey. Um, he's relieved for us. He's played center field for us. He's been a, a two-way player for us the very first time. Last year was the first time Corey's been healthy a year long. This will be his second year with an opportunity to be healthy. Um, and certainly he's another guy for us as a senior, part of that Magnificent Seven that's going to have an impact. Our freshman class might be the best freshman class we've had in a long time from a physical standpoint. Um, I also say this from an emotional standpoint, they have been incredible. I've not been around a freshman class that likes to work within the process of what it takes to be a great baseball player and a baseball team like this bunch has. They've been impressive. Their motor runs all the time. Uh, I've been around a lot of players, a lot of they, 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 they're, they're going to restore, we're going to restore who we've been and what we're going to be because of that type of energy and that kind of work. And I'm very confident about what that freshman class is going to add to this team going to. We have some group of sophomores last year that were forced into, at times, forced into play because of injuries and different things that happened. We had some other guys that, that earned the right to be on that field that will have experience also that will be back in this year. Luke Shirley, who played every day for us for the most part last year as a shortstop, uh, will be back in there. Um, we have some other guys who played at the end, Teddy Hoffman and, and Derek Scheibel, who played as freshmen. Uh, and so there's some other guys that'll that'll add to it. Um, and then uh, our junior class, each of them, I think there's only it's a small four or five person junior class. Each of them have draftability, and, and where I think professional baseball will have an interest in them also. So far, I've been pleased, excited with what they've represented and what they've done. But it all gets real in three weeks. Right now, it's all feel good and pat on the backs, and everybody's happy. How can I help now? <laughs> Coach, obviously, um, last year this kind of focus was more on you getting you know, well. Like, obviously, it didn't affect the kids. Uh, how do you address that in the offseason? Uh, you know, just moving forward, putting all that stuff behind the ball forward? Yeah, no, we don't, you know, we don't talk about it much. Um, you know, I, don't, it, I will say this about last year, and, I, and I'll try to, to move past it with you guys. As much as it, it was a burden for everybody. Um, it was a burden for our players. It was a burden for our coaching staff. It was a burden for our administration. It was a burden for our fans. It was a tremendous burden on my family. It, cancer sucks like nobody knows. And it created a tremendous burden for everybody. It wasn't fair to my, our players. I tried to keep it from them as much as possible because they needed to, to kind of keep moving. My staff had to go above and beyond the call of duty, in my opinion. Um, because they don't hand out instruction books on this deal when you get sick of this thing on, on what to do next. And so it was a burden for everybody. So my, my, my effort now would be more about, I, we need to restore winning championships. So let's get out there and work our ass off and, 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 and do it. What, what I have come from, I'm, I don't want to spend much time on this today because this is about them. I, I, am a total, I am a different person. I don't think there's any question. I think if you ask them, um, I'm a different person. Sometimes, um, you know, it's for comforting, but sometimes it's more of a pushing. Sometimes it's more of an urgency. Sometimes it's, I don't know, but I know I'm a different person. I see things differently today than I ever did in my life. Does not change one bit my competitiveness. Does not change one bit my will to win. Um, what it probably does change is how I look at you and how I look at everybody else and how I look at the end results of how things happen and why they happen. And then I look at the people that I work with and the players that I work with today and I see with more clarity today how important my position is to make them better and to push them beyond than what they've ever been. I told these guys before and I'll tell them again, I don't, I don't need them to be as good as they can be. I need them to be the best they've ever been. And I got to do the same thing. And so having said that, I, you know, everybody, all of us, if without any hiccups coming up, and I don't, you know, who knows? I mean, God and everybody else has a different idea about that. And 
and, and several doctors. And um, but these guys have been supportive of me. It's my turn to to resupport them, but also to push them to levels they've never experienced before. And that's my job. And so far, they've been unbelievable with it. That was a long answer. Sorry. Picking back on that a little bit, how how excited are you though to have? being the dugout all season long, be involved, hands-on, like you weren't able to be last year? Well, I'm excited about getting to coach baseball again. I'm excited about being part of the everyday process. I'm excited about being around my players. And, and, and you know, right now, today, this moment, feeling good physically and emotionally about being out there um, and, and being around them. It was, it's nice. It's nice to, to, to try to motivate somebody. It's nice to, to, to try to point out something that's going to make them better, but it's nice to be angry every once in a while. It's nice to be frustrated every once in a while. It's nice to let out a cuss word here and there. It's nice to, to be a baseball coach. And, um, and I enjoy that. I missed it tremendously. Um, and so it, it, I've, I've enjoyed it so far. You know, he got he gained a lot of experience uh, on a run, man. That's a tough gig. Uh, there's a fine line of not stepping over those bounds and what bounds did he have and uh, and leading the team. I thought he did a tremendous job of of, uh, of doing exactly what he was dealt with and a, a burden. And um, I thought Jeremy probably, if you if you cornered him, learned a lot too. Um, and so I was proud of uh, the efforts he put forward. And, uh, and so he's he's got some experience now. You know, I mean, it, and, and there are times, and I was an assistant coach, and it was easy to sit back and, and, and but, but every once in a while when your feet are on the fire too, you have a better appreciation, understanding of, of what's going on, the number of decisions, the number of ideas that are out there, and the number of responsibilities. I thought he did fantastic. Um, the guy's going to be a super head coach one of these days and, and, and soon. Coach, we're getting this year's team now. We've talked about restoring what y'all have to do. You know, I, I'll say I'll say this: you know, the, the work, doing the working as hard as you can work, doing you know within the process of, of baseball and, and and working as hard as you can does not guarantee you a championship. There's too many things. There's too many obstacles that could be in your way. You could you could work as hard as you want. And put in all the effort you want, play the most perfect game in the world, and the other team has just a little bit more talent. And the game unfolds that way. Um, statistics tell you that, emotion tells you that, uh, programs, historic, all these things will tell you. You could play as hard as you can, work as hard as you can, you get to that moment and you're at the cusp of it, doesn't guarantee it. But what it does guarantee you is it guarantees you your best opportunity and your best moment. That it does. And, and, and when these guys so far, have, 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 in their words, they've crushed things that we've put in front of them, they have. So I'm, I'm confident that th their effort and their abilities is going to come out to its fullest potential. That I'm comfortable with. If it's not good enough, then we have to go get even more. And that'll indicate that too. But I'm, I'm comfortable and confident if we keep pushing these guys, they're going to be able to restore the emotion it takes and the, and the type of attitude that it takes to hustle. And to me, when you start hustling, you, you're stepping in the right direction of winning again. Yeah, I think there, there's several of them that are going to, I mean, without naming, specifically naming names, but I, there are guys that um, have proven that they deserve the opportunity to get out there through the, what we've had our preseason practice wise. What's interesting is a lot of guys come home after Chris, come back after Christmas and you get a different player. You always hope you get the right one coming back. A lot of them come back, you know, at, more, at ease with what's going on being a college athlete, they're in better shape, and then you have some that still, you know, is too much of a transition for them. These guys have made that transition as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and so there's probably five pitchers that are going to spend some time for us. I think, you know, if you look around, Jonathan Ortega and, and Nick Perez, 
um, are two of the um, guys that, you know, position player-wise that have proven that they are going to deserve some, some opportunities to get there. Ryan Newman is another kid who's offensively for us. And, and if I start naming off everybody's name, I, I'll end up leaving off one of them that, that is going to do the same thing. But there's been, I'm going to be honest with you, there's been three freshman arms that have gone out there for us that we feel comfortable that if we, we started them, that they would have an opportunity and a chance to go out there and be very, uh, very successful. Brandon Lewis has been um, really good for us so far as a freshman had done well. And so, and, and there's been probably about two or three other guys that have done the same thing. So I feel like the freshman class, and look, you don't know that. I think any major college coach will tell you one of the biggest question marks is when you put a freshman out there in a different colored jersey over a, over a five game period, what happens? Because remember, they're used to being really, really successful. And then you know, no matter how good they really might be, they may be facing an arm that, that nobody's very good against. And so we got to you know, rekindle their, their spirit, per se, and their confidence. And so, but I, I, feel comf I, feel good about, I feel good about the direction that these freshmen have gone. I certainly feel confident and comfortable about every one of them and the amount of effort they put in. That I feel very comfortable with. How do you balance with the Corey guys the decision to, to use him on the weekends to start versus because he's a valuable outfielder for you? Well, how do you balance this too? Well, ideally it would have been uh, for Corey to go on Sundays. Um, reason for it, he could play Friday, Saturday, pitch Sunday, off Monday, play Tuesday, get work in Wednesday, Thursday. So it makes better sense that way. I don't know that it's going to work that way. He might be the Tuesday starter also. There's still that outside possibility because of his competitiveness, which he is a great competitor. Um, he may end up being the, club, the back end guy too. He can roll right out of right field and here we go. And so, or center field, whichever one. And um, so, I, or, or you know, certain days DH, if he's had a lot of workload, DH and balancing that part of it. It's a true challenge. I, those guys, you know, when you start talking about trying to prevent injuries and different things, when a guy does both, it's a challenge for a coach because you don't want to over, overdo it with him. And, you know, them, those guys, those competitive guys, their famous, their famous answer is, Coach, I'm good. They're like, Coach, I'm good. And so you really, as a coach, you're challenged with, with balancing that because sometimes they're probably not. And uh, but those guys will tell you they are. Yeah, I think that, you know, there we have more depth. A lot of times, um, at different times last year and different times in my career, when we've gone to the bullpen or if somebody went down and got hurt, we felt like what we were running out there wasn't as good. Right now, the depth tells us that we have some guys when we get into games that we can match up with people um, and burn a left-handed pitcher for two out of three hitters or one hitter, and the next guy we bring in for the matchup is, is going to be quality too. So we feel better about the, um, the amount of depth that we have on the mound. Um, and I feel, and I gotta be honest with you, I, I, you know, I've been wrong before, um, and this one I don't need to be, but I, I really think, you know, having the ability of having a senior like Lucas, I've never seen Lucas work like this before. I've never seen him uh, engaged as much as he is right now. He's always been a good worker, um, but I, I'm seeing the kind of focus and, and engagement from him all the time. So when you have a senior going out there doing that, um, it filters down.